Wait a minute. Okay, I think it's on. Having troubles with this one. Again. Okay, actually, I think we're good. All right, well, um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Just let me make sure. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, it is Thanksgiving, and uh, since our family's kind of messed up, we're going to, I'm just, me and my mom have been making, or are going to start making uh, Asian food. And for dessert, I wanted to, um, I wanted to make uh, mochi ice cream, which is a Japanese dish kind of thing. Um, but we have Christmas music on, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, and we also, um, we kind of have a little bit decorated for Christmas, but not that much. Um, I'm wearing my Jack Skellington Christmas sweatshirt. Um, okay, if you guys haven't noticed, something kind of new is I dyed my hair strawberry blonde. It's a lot lighter now. And um, also I've had this weird, I don't know if you can see, okay, yeah, you can. I have this like weird allergic reaction. It's like swelling up right here. I have no idea what that's all about, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm going to make, um, I'm going to be making Japanese mochi ice cream balls. So um, I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So I'm probably gonna be looking away from the screen a lot, but let's just get started, I guess. Okay, so here we have our stuff. The um, the measurements the measurements for everything is a lot more difficult than um, it's like a lot different. It's a lot more different because there is a um, like she uses grams, and I'm in America, so we use like cups and tablespoons to get down the measurements. I was able to figure out. For, um, for this recipe, and then I'm gonna put them down in the description once I figure everything out. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to be using, um, she says she uses her rice flour. I'm using this kind. I just got at a grocery store, can you see it? Mochiko, sweet rice flour. Um, okay, let's just get started, I guess. Five tablespoons of flour. Okay, that was a lot more than I intended. It all spilled out. So, um, let me go closer. So I'm gonna do a little less for this kind, this one. Very true, let's go. And two. Three. Four, and five. Okay. This is probably not smart to wear a black sweatshirt while I'm making this, but that's okay. Um, and then she did seven and a half tablespoons sugar, or hers was like 75 grams or whatever, so I forgot the sugar. I'll be right back. I'm going to get the sugar. Dang it. I have no idea where the sugar is. Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> I forgot that we have it over here now. Okay. So, seven and a half tablespoon of sugar. Okay, now I know that this video is very unorganized. 
I'm not really, this isn't really a tutorial. This is just me making um, mochi ice cream. Wait a minute, I think I'm doing something wrong. Dang it. Okay, I just remembered that I am doing something wrong. I'm gonna start over. Okay, so actually everyone, or, oh, there's one viewer, cool. <laughs> I'm going to do one, I'm going to start over from the very beginning. Here we go. I have one, two, three, four, So five tablespoons of the sweet rice flour, I use Mochico. And then here we have, here it is. Um, okay, and then I think, how did she do it? One second, let me see. Um, okay, so she put, oh right, okay, here we go. Sorry guys. <clears throat> okay, so she put the water in next. Um, the closest measurement, the closest measurement I could find to what she did was um, a little less than half a cup. Um, so, but if you want it exactly, which I did exactly, it is um, six tablespoons and tea, two teaspoons of water. So that's what I'm going to add to it. There we go. Add half a cup of water, and then she stir. Okay, so here we have. You can even see it. Yeah, that's five. Does that make it? Oh, that makes it a lot better. Okay, I turn on the light a little bit. I'm gonna use a little stir spoon. I'm just gonna stir it all together. I don't know if something's magical is going to happen, so I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, it smells a lot like cornstarch and water, like oobleck. If you ever did that as a kid, that's what it smells like. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So she says just mix it all together until all the lumps are out, and then add the sugar. I'm hoping I added enough water. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, I know that this probably isn't even the most entertaining video because this, because to a lot of people, people want to see professionals make professional food. But this is just me being an amateur and then eventually when I learn more this is me basically like learning as I go and I thought I'd you know show as I go um, but to me this is actually kind of interesting if I saw another youtuber like if I found a youtuber that wasn't very popular yet but they were doing stuff like this this would actually be incredibly interesting to me so that's just what I'm doing okay so that looks pretty good, actually. Close enough to which, how she did it. Now, there are a lot of different ways, she was saying, there are a lot of different ways to making um, mochi, but this is how she did it, so I decided I'm gonna do it her way. Okay. So, as you can see, it kind of got, I stirred it all up. It's like a paste. And you're going to want to get all the lumpiness out before you get to the actual putting in the other ingredients. The other ingredients is just actually um, sugar. All it is is sugar. It's about seven and a half tablespoons of sugar, as you already saw. And then that's it. And then you just put ice cream in it. 
but we'll get to that when we get to that. So, all right. I think this is good for stirring it up. And then I'm going to add seven and a half tablespoons of sugar. So one, two. seven and a half tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Can you see it at all? Wait. Yeah, you can't really see it. Okay, whatever. It's just getting kind of chunky. Oh, wow. This is really interesting. So at first it gets kind of chunky. Um, but it's changed color a little bit to a little more um oh and it actually the the paste got a lot lighter than you'd think it would like a um more liquidy it feels like it's more liquidy and not as okay you see it so there you have it does not smell good at all. But actually, yeah, it doesn't really have that much of a smell. It did before. But now it just tastes, I mean, it just smells normal. Like just not like anything really. Um, okay. Then. Okay, now, when she was telling me this, it seemed kind of weird that she would say this, but it said, she says, um, do cover it in, well, that's weird, the light. I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so she says, cover the bowl in plastic wrap and microwave it for um, two minutes for on 600 watts. Now, I was like, why would we put plastic wrap in the microwave? But I guess it's gonna work. Hopefully, we'll see. If my microwave explodes or if it tastes like plastic, we know we did wrong. <laughs> but, okay. Here we have it. So I'm going to do one last little stir, mix it all together. This is crazy. This I don't know how to explain the texture it is right now, but it's just not something I'm used to. Can you see it at all? Oh, not really. Kind of? No? Okay, whatever. Oh, I know. Here, I'm just going to go like this. See, it's kind of a weird, I don't know, it just seems weird to me, whatever. So I'm going to cover this in plastic wrap. And then I guess microwave it for two minutes. safe than sorry. Oh, microwavable. That is so weird. I seriously have never heard that you can microwave plastic wrap, but I guess you can. I don't know. Maybe that's just a normal thing that I've just never heard before, but I'm not sure. Whatever. Oh, 
Okay. So now covering the microwavable microwave safe bowl in microwave safe plastic wrap. I guess just wrap it, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Now this bowl was a lot bigger than the amount of mochi that I'm probably gonna need, need but I just wanted it to be um, I just wanted it to be kind of in case I spilled or anything. Here's my beautiful microwave, and now I'm putting this in here, and I'm doing two minutes. Okay, so two minutes for our level 600. There we go. Start. Okay, I I guess I didn't really have a reason to be nervous because it says microwavable plastic wrap. That's just weird to me, though. That's kind of strange that there would be plastic wrap and you put it in the microwave. Maybe it's normal. I don't know. Um, okay, we're also, I guess I'll just say what else we're making. We're making um, this thing. We're Actually, we're using most of her recipes. So I am going to put her um, channel in the description because we're, what we're doing is we're putting, we're making um, tomato rice. We're making... Um, tempura, vegetables, and shrimp. Uh, oh, this like cheesy avocado tots. It's kind of like tots, but it's like fried and it looks really good. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be good. I don't really want to put all that because she doesn't really want to be on the, um, on the internet. So I'm just going to show you guys me making these. And um, after you make the paste and you spread it out and everything, put ice cream in it and then you um, put it in the freezer. So I decided to put it in the freezer. I mean, I decided to make these in advance so then I can leave them in the freezer for however many hours I need to. And then we'll have them after our Thanksgiving dinner. It's not really Thanksgiving dinner. We kind of had breakfast at this resort kind of place. And that was kind of our Thanksgiving dinner, I guess. But um, this is our Japanese style Thanksgiving dinner, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's got a few more seconds left and then I'm going to stir it again. And after I stir it again, I'm going to put, um, oh, you do use a damp stir spatula thing. So I'm going to, Use the same spatula I did last time, but it's kind of damp, so I'm going to make it not too wet. Here, wait. And there we go. And here we are. Okay. Um, I don't know how to show it to you. There's kind of like goop on the edges. And I guess when you stir in all the goop, it's supposed to combine itself. I don't know. So it's like goop in the middle and then liquid on the outside. Oh, I really hope this works. It probably will. Let's just hope it will. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be really sad, but that's okay. So let's see if you guys can see this. Mm, kind of. There we go. Um, so if you could see the goop and the bubbles in it, and then there's still liquid and stuff, but I don't know. We're going to see. We need to do one more minute, it says. at the same watts, so 600 watts, one more minute. I'm going to cover it in plastic wrap again. There we go. All right. And then we're going to put it in the microwave.
Let's just hope this works. One more minute. Um, so yeah. Oh, I did. I'll show you guys the ice cream that I got. This might need to start defrosting anyway. I got some eggnog ice cream. Pretty great. Because I figured it's the season. Why not? Um, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to take a little bite of this. Mm. Okay, this is really good. Oh, I really hope this works because these are going to be awesome if it works. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be hot. Okay. Oh, it smells weird. <gasps> okay, it's kind of more like a dough. Okay, I did not, it needs to be a little damper. Okay, I think the importance of it being a damp spoon or spatula, preferably wooden, I think, would be best. Here, one second. Okay, this is actually turning out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm just going to stir it up. It all nice and into a dough. Yeah, this smells weird. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It kind of smells like BO. Or like, you know when you open up an olive oil plant, or maybe you haven't opened up an olive oil plant, but it kind of smells like that. But why though? That's kind of strange. Hmm. All right, here we go. This is cool. Dang it. All right, so let's show you guys this. Whoa, okay, I tasted some, and it does actually, surprisingly, it does taste like mochi, like the dough around mochi ice cream. Um, I'm gonna check, sure I know what's the next step. Yeah, this is very unorganized, I'm sorry guys. Okay, after she mixes well, water together, blah, 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 blah. Microwave two minutes. Have a plaster at microwave another minute. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. What should how should I do this? Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, okay, I'm going to should I do it like this? I feel like I should, but... Okay, guys, it's going to be kind of weird. Is it going to be awkward? No, it'll be fine, I think. Yeah, is that fine? And she says, just put... some starch, or... I'm just going to use... She says just put some starch on the cutting board. I'm just going to use regular, the same um, rice flour that I did because this is going to coat with stuff. So let's just spread it out like this. Okay.
that. This is fun. <laughs> it probably shouldn't be, but this is really fun for some reason. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna just bring my sleeves up like that. Okay, now we have the dough. This is kind of cool, actually. I didn't for some reason. I don't know why, but I didn't really expect it would turn out this good. <laughs> Here we have the dough. Just gonna scrape it onto the cutting board. Okay. Can you guys even see this? Okay, there's not, that actually tastes, uh, wait. Okay, I tasted some. It's kind of weird. I think with the ice cream, it'll be perfect, though. <laughs> I think with the ice cream, it'll be good. Um, not good. I think I'm going to put some more of the rice stuff. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put some more of the rice stuff on top. Maybe that'll help. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, this is good. Oh, this is so, okay. I cannot even explain how good this feels to just play with this. I'm gonna cover my hands in it. Oh, this feels so good. It's like warm, but it's also like a putty, and it's like stress relieving. Oh, this is amazing. Guys, oh, can you even? Uh, yeah, you kind of can. Okay, whatever. Good enough. This is amazing, guys. I'm put my hands. And then I think I'm going to spread some more around here okay I'm just spreading some more of the rice flour out so it won't stick to the cutting board I'm getting this all over me okay Whatever. And now I'm going to get a rolling pin. Do we not? Oh my gosh. Do we not have a clean rolling pin? No, we do. Right? Ha. Ah, found one. Rolling pin. Just get a very average rolling pin. Doesn't matter. And I guess I'm just going gonna, gonna to roll it in here to make sure it's nice and coated with the rice flour. This stuff is incredibly sticky, so be very careful. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm making freaking mochi, mochi stuff. What do, you, what do you even call it? Mochi dough, I guess, is how you would call it. I Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I figure most people that watch these cooking videos don't really know what they're doing either. So we might as well learn together, you know? Why not? Um, okay, there's kind of a hole there. Let's see, if I patch it up like this, will that work? Nope, didn't work, wait. Ugh, okay. I don't know how she does it. She's like a magician with it because she gets it like the perfect like texture and the perfect like um, thickness and everything. And I'm just over here like not even knowing what I'm, what I'm doing, you know? But it's okay. We're learning. 
maybe I'll make this recipe again and figure out a better way to make it or a easier way or a way that I do it. I don't know. It is really fun to like play with and touch and she sets it, I think. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I just thought about that. Okay. Hold up one second, guys. <laughs> I just remembered she sets it for a certain amount of time. How long does she keep it in there? Okay. Oh, well, how long does she, okay, so she flattens it out. There we go, with a rolling pin. And then she cools it, she leaves it to cool, I think. It's so perfect. How does she do that? I don't understand. Leave to cool completely. So just wait for it to be completely cold and then cut out eight squares. I could do that. It's already pretty. Yeah, it's fine. We're good. We're all good in the hood. Okay. And then cut into eight squares. I don't know if I could do eight squares. So I guess this makes, oops, wait a minute. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I guess this makes eight different little squares, and then you put the mochi in it. I'm just going to let this cool, I guess, and then do make the mochi. So while I'm letting it cool, you guys can look at its masterpiece. Can you even see it? That's very hard. Okay, so here it is. You see? It's nice and, oh, this is so great. Freaking love this, guys. I'm gonna let it cool. It's already pretty cool. Okay, probably won't be long, but I'm just gonna let it cool. I'm gonna blow my nose, check on our fried rice, because we're also making rice, so it should be pretty nice. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna put this in, in there, but I think I'll just eat some while we're waiting. Mm. This is really good. Okay, now, I did notice on the back or on the side, it says like, you see it says a recipe for Mm, right. Coco mochi. So, and they used a whole different system on making mochi. So I guess it all just depends on how you want to make, you know, your mochi or whatever. And if you want chocolate, maybe I'll make this again and use chocolate mochi. But for now, I'm just doing this, and I'm eating ice cream, because ice cream makes me happy. And we're going to wait. Oh, I forgot. I need to check on the rice. So here's the glorious, beautiful mochi that I made. Mochi dough. So that sounds like a Cheeto, but it's mochi dough. I actually think that the rice is ready, so I'm going to tell my mom that the rice is ready and see what she wants to do with it, so I'll be right back, guys. More time for this little guy to cool. But once we get it to be all nice and cool, we're going to make it, and it's going to be great. Tell me the motion signal. 
Okay, so my mom's gonna check the mochi. I mean the rice. Uh, we're making tomato rice. Maybe I'll show you guys if it works out really good because mm -hmm. how did how it go? I mean, she just used like one of these spoons. I feel like we're obsessed with this woman. She just used this spoon. Okay. How many do you think this one could make? Like how many? How many portions? Well, don't put too much of that stuff on it. You just need a teeny. teeny I know. Bit. I just didn't want it to stick. Um, you know, four. Wow! It actually okay. It's actually nice and cold now. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna get a cutter. Like a pizza cutter. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to use a pizza cutter, guys. Oh, we have this thing now for the rice. Where's there is our pizza cutter? Okay, I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to use this to cut it. Actually, never mind. I found a pizza cutter. So this is the American version of making mochi, I guess. Pizza cutter or Italian version too. How is it? Can I try some? So good. I added a little sauce on it. I'll put a little in the white dish so they can see that the color changes. <laughs> okay. All right. So how she made how the okay it's up here now. So if you want. <laughs> okay. So how um the lady made it is she just added olive oil and no the lady who actually okay. made it, she had just added olive oil, water, a tomato, and like salt and pepper. But my mom added saffron. So as you can see, it kind of changed the color a little bit. I think I'm gonna leave a link to that too. Yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description to how we made this because this was super easy, but it was really good. So I'm going to eat this. Try it out. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I need a little bit more salt. So um, I'm not sure how. Dude, they could see you crawling. Yeah. <laughs> You're so weird. Um, so it needs a little bit more salt for our recipe, but how she did it, I'm sure it'd be great. Um, this, it's a very strong, it's a very strong tomato rice uh, flavor. <laughs> it's a very strong tomato flavor. So if you don't like a strong tomato flavor, I wouldn't eat this. I mean, I wouldn't make this, but I like it. It's good. Oh yeah. Okay, that's gonna be nice. Mm. Say oh, some for the dinner or whatever. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna eat this to let this thing cool more, even though it is pretty much already cool. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah. The salt made it a lot better. Um, it's a very, oh, it's very good. I like the tomato. I love the tomato. I never, you won? Yeah, we put a kind of medium sized tomato. But the lady used a um, large tomato. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Oh my All right, so I think I'm going to put a link in the description to how we, to, actually my mom just made it because it was really easy, to how she made that on the, actually no, I think I'm just going to put her channel. I'm just going to put her channel in the description box. And now let's try to make mochi.
you see it kind of okay I wonder how many we're just gonna start with a line through the middle oh it's sticking to it okay that's weird I guess I'm gonna put some some of the flower around it on the edges Okay, so I did one line through the middle, and then you're gonna do another line up here, I guess. And then I think I'm just gonna make six. Yeah, I'm just gonna make six for these. There we go, six. Okay. I'm gonna remember what she does next. I kind of got stuck to this thing. Um, all right. Okay, one second. I'm going to get some more tools. Um. So then she put more plastic wrap in like a little, she wrapped it in here and put more, like in a small bowl. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some plastic wrap. And just put it in a small bowl. I wanna make sure I'm doing this right actually. Okay, so plastic wrap. In the bowl, shape it a little bit. Okay, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going to go back to her video. Okay. Find a small bowl with plastic wrap, place the mochi. And just kind of spread it out, I guess. Oh, and then place some ice cream. Okay. So. I guess now we're just gonna get the mochi. I kind of want this more of like a, I feel like triangle shape isn't very good. That's kind of the shape that it is. So I'm gonna spread it out, or how should I make this? If I make it more of like a square, that should be good. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Cause I don't want it to rip. There we go. Okay, and then some eggnog ice cream. Okay, I'm feeling like for the ice cream part, you don't want too much, but you don't want too little. So I'm just going to use this thing and um, put some in here. And I'll show you guys how I do that. You know, it's kind of obvious, but if you want to follow, go through with me while we're doing this together, let's go ahead. Okay. This actually might be too much for the amount for, like, the square that I made. So I'm going to do a little less. Mm, I want a little bit more. That might actually have to be enough. Okay, we're just going to go with that. So for the first one, we're just going to go like that. Now my hands are all wet. And then I guess just, she kind of just pinched it all together. Actually, I could do more than that. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm going to do more. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. And then she just put it together. There we go. We have the ice cream inside the mochi. 
should just put it all together. And turned it into kind of a ball a little bit. And then take, so there we have it. Take the plastic wrap. I'm just trying to go off from memory. And I think I'm just going to kind of go like this. And then after you're done with all of them, you're going to place them in the freezer to set. Let me get a little hmm. Let me think. I'll just set them down here. OK. So now we get to do this five more times. Plastic wrap. Okay, step one, plastic wrap. Take it out, rip, put it in the bowl. I'm using a very small bowl just only because of it is a very small thing. Now my hands are kind of wet because I put away the ice cream. Let me get that uh, stuck to the cutting board. All right, here we go. We're good. I don't know why, but this is just really interesting to me. This, the texture of this dough and how it feels and everything, because because it's coated in like the rice flour. I feel like it's a lot different than if it was, um, put in like a, if it was just without the rice flour, it'd be very sticky, and this it, this wouldn't even happen. So okay, here we have it. I'll go like that. Then put some ice cream in it and then repeat that step. That's how much I'm going to use. Let's hope it'll be okay. My hands are washed, by the way, in case anyone is watching and is like, oh my gosh. So, that, and I'm going to fold it all together. This is so cool. I always or, I always get these whenever we go to Trader Joe's. And I love them. So this is awesome that I'm, I'm like making something like my favorite Japanese recipe. So this is really cool. Look at that. All right. This is cool. It's really cool, guys. I'm saying the word cool too much. Oh, well. <laughs> Plastic wrap. This one actually is kind of a square, but I don't. I don't want it to be a rectangle, so let's make it more a little bit wider. Okay. I'm kind of pressing it up against the sides just to help it stay in. I don't know, I'm not really, I haven't really developed a technique, but I guess if you make this all the time, you'll figure one out. I don't know, if you guys, if you guys know a better way, or like a better technique to fill these things or whatever, then you could do it that way. Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, I'm not sure. Okay, now we're going to go put it in like that, put it in like that. And now we're there we go. This is so cool to me. Oh my gosh. I love these things. If there was, I want to try and see if there's a way to make like, um, either different flavors for the mochi or like 
different colors kind of thing. Like if I added food coloring to it, I don't know if that would do anything. Like if it would mess it up or if it would make it awesome. So I might try that. And if I do more research and figure out that there is a lot like more entertaining way of making these things, making it look awesome at the end. Oh, almost got plastic wrap. Then I'm going to most likely film a video on it. All right, here we go. Number four. Number four, please be just as awesome as number one, two, and three. Thank you very much. Ice cream's getting kind of melty. I'm hoping that won't make it gross when, we, when it defrosts. Okay, okay. one second. One of the sides came down. Stay out, little side. Thank you. This one's going to be packed with ice cream just because, or maybe not. Never mind. I think when I finally eat these, it's going to be the best thing ever because I love these things. I love trying to make, I love eating them. So I think trying to make them is awesome. And I think when I eat them and say, oh my gosh, I made these, it's going to be even better. It's going to be really cool. Okay, last two. It's kind of weird. Okay, some things that I did notice while Wilt's making these is you're going to make sure you put down a lot of flour or starch or whatever you choose to use down on the thing to, down on the cutting board or whatever, you, on the countertop or surface or whatever you use. Um, because I have been having a little trouble sometimes with getting it to not be sticky or whatever. Um, oh, now that I think about it, if you could, if you like make these, actually, no, that probably wouldn't work. I'm thinking like if you somehow fill them, like if you go through the hole and fill in like ice cream or uh, frosting or something, I'm sure they do that somewhere. Because they like fill them with whatever, frosting or some sort of filling. Oh, these are so cool. Okay, I definitely want to try this again. And I suggest whoever is watching this should make these because these are amazing. I mean, look at them. I made this, this little ball of joy. I wish I could eat one and show you guys how awesome it is. I'm sure it's going to be great using eggnog ice cream with Japanese rice-style flour. Oh, and another thing is you can use whatever kind of ice cream you want. I'm just using um, eggnog ice cream because I thought it'd be festive, and I like eggnog, and ice cream's good. So there you go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, this ice cream is going to be incredibly melty, so I'm really hoping it's not going to make it all freezer burned or whatever. Okay. There we go. There we go. And last one. Now, these aren't the most professional looking mochi balls, 
that I ever did see. However, I am pretty proud of myself. I am amazed that you can make these and it doesn't take a lot of, okay, look, the plastic wrap did come undone because it's a little jerk. So I'm gonna put rubber bands or something in it, but I'm amazed you can make these, not have a lot of know-how or a lot of like experience, they're very easy. And um, from what I've tasted from other kinds of mochi balls, they taste amazing. So if these taste amazing, then And that's great. And I'm very happy. So, I'm going to put these in the freezer. And then, when we have our Asian style meals and all our food, we're going to eat these for dessert. So, um, not sure what else to say. I don't have a, I just don't have a sign off or anything, or a way to end it. So I guess I'm just gonna say goodbye. And I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving if you watch these during, if you watch this during Thanksgiving, or if you didn't, then have a lovely day, night, evening, morning. Just enjoy your life, okay? Goodbye.